Meghan Markle is high and mighty and we can't wait for her to go, says the American. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Montecito neighbors don't think too well of the couple, with the Duchess's attitude causing particular controversy. Meghan Markle's popularity has been on the fringes for some time now, but it seems that even those closest to her, at least geographically, are not fans of the former actress. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. A neighbor described her as tall and powerful and they told the Daily Express, we can't wait for him to be gone. They added that they believed Meghan was manipulating her husband Prince Harry, a view her own father Thomas Markle shared yesterday. He told ITV's Good Morning Britain that Meghan was no longer the daughter he once knew. Asked if he blamed Harry for that, he added, I don't know if I blame her or Harry. I think she had more influence on Harry than he had on her. The neighbor added that they are not the only ones who are not interested in the Duchess, saying that her attitude is destroying the whole community. A neighbor has previously spoken of trying to welcome the couple when they first moved in by offering them films about the history of the unique California enclave, but the Sussexes simply weren't interested. Navy veteran Frank McKinney added that the couple saw the person regularly. Harry and Meghan live in an £11.5 million mansion in Montecito, Santa Barbara, California. They have lived there since June 2020 and moved into the exclusive community just months after the royal family stepped down. Their house has a tennis court, an outdoor pool and 16 bedrooms. Many celebrities live nearby, including Oprah Winfrey, Bruce Willis, Tom Cruise and the Fred Couples. American opinion polls show that most Americans have a negative view of Meghan and a slightly more favorable view of Harry. A recent Newsweek poll found that 33% disapproved of Meghan, while 31% approved, giving her an overall net approval rating of minus 2. This is a drop of 8 percentage points since the last survey in June. Harry was approved by 39% of respondents and disapproved by 27%, giving him a net approval rating of plus 12. This is also a drop from the last opinion poll where he had plus 18. The survey was conducted on September 3 to 4 among 1,500 American adults.